if you're struggling with dark knees dark knuckles dark elbows dark parts in your body that you don't like and you want to get rid of it make sure you watch this video to the end because i'm going to be giving you two products that will give you results from today you can start seeing results from tomorrow i am very very serious and i'm also going to be telling you three things you need to stop doing it from today so you can start improving in your results but before i continue with that i need to put up a disclaimer let me say something make sure you listen to me if you are black like i mean your race is black i'm not talking your dark skin or your chocolate skin or your caramel skin or your i mean if you're black it is totally normal for some parts of your body to not correspond with the rest of your body i do not have dark knuckles but if you look you would see that this part of my body when the lightning shines on it, it looks like as if it's a bit darker than the rest of my body but it is totally normal it is totally normal because of my race look at my elbows you see it does not really there's a shade of darkness to it there's a shade of darkness here because of the melanin i wish i could show you my knee but i can't go up to just show you my knee but there's a shade of darkness to it it is normal the problem is when it starts looking like this or it starts looking like this then you need to do something about that so if your case is progressing to that extent or even at my stage and you want it to keep getting better and you're trying to maintain these two products will help you but before the product I told you I'm going to tell you three things you need to stop doing today so you can improve on that. Now, let me tell you the three things. The number one thing is if you are bleaching, you are rubbing caro white, caro tune, caro anything, you are using bleaching products like you're lightening in a very unhealthy way, you need to stop it today. Because let me just, in fact, if you're bleaching, you and that you and like dark knuckles dark knees you are supposed to be like this you're supposed to be tight you're not going anywhere you're besties for life <laughs> so don't complain manage it just carry the thing it comes with the package you know when you buy your set you buy this set of products it comes with the package everything is there you carry everything along so that's one thing you need to do so if you're using any of those products you need to stop doing that today stop doing that now another thing that causes darkening in some of these parts of our body especially in between your thighs your knees your hands it's friction if this body this is what i mean by friction this is what friction means you see this rubbing together that is what friction is if your hand let's just say you're washing and you're washing your hands are on your because most times if you're, if you're not washing with the washing machine and you're washing with you're just washing your hands are on your laps as you're washing that friction that these two parts of your body are rubbing together causes darkness it needs to if you're constantly kneeling you have cause to kneel things are making you rub your knees on the ground they are going to be dark if your ties are constantly rubbing against each other they're going to be dark it's also even under your armpits the way my armpits are together now you see it is rubbing against itself there will be friction and once there is friction the next part that comes is that part of your body starts getting darker so reduce friction in this part in any way that you can if you're washing take a clothes keep on your body and then keep your hands and then wash prevent things that make you knee or even if you have to knee look for something to cover your knees if darkness is in between your ties try to wear tights wear them so that it can help you prevent darkness in that part of your body now the third thing that you need to do is that you need to constantly moisturize especially parts in your body that are darker than the rest of your body constantly constantly moisturize get a moisturizing lotion you can use shea butter that's also moisturizing you can use butters you can use body oils they would help you to moisturize that part of your body now let's get into the two products we're going to be talking about today the number one is the kojisan soap and the second one is the glycolic the ordinary glycolic acid these two products you use them together but you do not use them at the same time i'm going to be telling you how you can use them on days that you can use them i will also demonstrate that on the camera so you know now this is the first one this is the kujisan i ran out of the one that i had and i've previously filmed this video but it did not have any sound so i have to film it so i got a new one to show you guys this is the kujisan so i'm going to link the video on how you can get the original this you use this three times in a week on this that you're using glycolic acid do not use kojic acid please now then how do you use this you take this on your let me remove it from the back Wait, why is it saying different? Are you sure about the original? Wait, 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 wait. Let me check. <laughs> if I do not get the fake one. Okay. 
it's original but they added different senses it smells different it smells really different but let me tell you how, to, how, you, how you can use this if you get your kojisan soap you melt it with water take it apply on your armpit if your armpit is your problem apply on your armpit if it's your dark knuckles that is a problem you can also apply it here you can get your exfoliating loops wet it with this product and then scrub that part of your body scrub it if it's your knees apply it on that part of your body and wait 10 minutes after 10 minutes you wash off unlike the glycolic acid that it's a stay on product this one you need to wash it off you wash it off and you go in to moisturize because this product can be drying let's face the truth that is one side effect to eat so when you're done using this when you're done leaving this leave it for at least 10 minutes that time you need to be doing something else in the bedroom is when i'm baiting that i normally use this use it to do something else in the bedroom and then when you're done moisturize that part of your body use it three times in a week and then for the two times in a week you're going to use this product for five days half of a week the next product is this the ordinary glycolic acid this acid is very active that's why if you're black i would say do not use this product on your face because of how active it is even if you have to use it use it once a week that is how i use it because this product penetrates into your skin deeply it's a chemical exfoliant like unlike other acids this penetrates into your skin quite quickly and it's the, the effects that you get from it are almost immediately that's why if you use glycolic acid you almost immediately see your face breaking out the next day or you have like your face just becomes irritated almost immediately because of how easily this penetrates into your skin and you need this for those dark parts in your body you see your dark knees your dark knuckles your dark elbows in between your thighs you need this especially underneath your armpit because another thing this does apart from lightening those parts in your body is that it also gives you it also helps you to prevent odor it kills the bacteria causing odor in your body so this product will do that for you so if you have odor on those parts of your body and you use this it's going to help you to kill that odor so you become kind of odorless two times in a week is enough do not use this every day please you know how i told you to use this use glycolic as a three times in a week and these two products are used at night not in the morning use glycolic acid two times in a week sorry two times a week yes and you use your kojic acid three times in a week at night apply for 10 minutes and wash off it's a wash off product but this is a chemical exfoliant you leave it on and let me demonstrate for you how i'd use this if i'm the one using it this is how i use it on the two times in a week that i use it so i get my cutting pad i'm going to use it like this you see the way i'm turning it over i'm soaking the product in now this is properly soaked i don't know if it's showing let me take it closer or back i don't know if it's showing this I'm going to take it like this. I'll go to my armpit and I'll rub it in. Use it to cleanse my armpit like this. Take, come on here again. I've been using this on if you know if you guys remember if you're on my channel remember the first time that i reviewed this glycolic acid on my channel you could tell so much difference in how my armpit is currently and how it's the darkness i had around these parts have cleared up now you're going to come here you're also going to take the product and you apply it there just like this just like i'm doing take it apply it there apply it there Way again okay you come to your knees <laughs> i'm not sure you guys but i cannot but just rub them in on your knees because those parts in your body easily get darker than the rest of your body so you apply this on your knees too coming between your thighs if that part of your body is dark too you apply it and when you're done you moisturize when you're done like you apply your moisturizer on top of it and you have your results like combine them together guys i'm serious i am not just telling you like something vague or something that i've not tried i'm telling you a routine that i currently follow that works for me it works so if you're dealing with body hyperpigmentation dark places in your body that you're finding very difficult to lighten up try these two products combine them together don't use it individually combine them together and you will get the results that you're looking for i hope you enjoyed this video if you did do not subscribe to me share it to a friend my name is choma in case i didn't say that share it to a friend leave a comment down there if you have any questions and i'll see you in my next video
Bye, guys.